know that the first round of the war, uh, we can manage each town, city, and uh, in Shogun to total war, uh, the management of the all towns are uh, is uh, automatic. So in uh, round two, total war, mm -hmm. this kind of management is still like. Uh, well, it's it's different really, it's also a mix of two, because um, I suppose it's good for me to mention the, um, the way we uh, the way we parcel up territory, the way we control territory in Rome 2, is we have what we call the province system now, so on, on the campaign map we have you know, hundreds of individual regions, and in that region there will be a settlement, or a town, or a city, or Whatever you know, some kind of um, some kind of you know uh, population centre. Um, but those regions are are contained within a province. So each province has two to four regions in it, and it has one single capital. And that capital is where you manage the entire province. So you know you can build buildings in all the, the little towns in that region, but you only manage the province at the province level. If you like, right? So, so each province is almost like <coughs> it's almost like if you add it all together, it'd be like a great city. You know, there's slots, many building slots, so you can build new buildings in them. Um, you can build barracks and recruit from various buildings around that province, right? Um, and the reason we've done this uh, is because the campaign map is very, very large. You know, right from Portugal to Afghanistan. From Scotland down to Africa, you know, it's a very, very big map. And to manage every region individually would mean, especially towards the end of the game when you have a very large empire, it's going to you can spend hours individually managing. So, so now we just manage at the province level. But it, the benefit of it is that, uh, unlike Shogun 2, where every region had a castle, basically, you know different sizes but every region has a castle to control it and that's like the centre of management for that for that region. So instead of that we now have the only uh, the only kind of equivalent of castle, you know, a walled city is in the province capital. All the regions that are within that provinces will be small settlements or large settlements or but they won't have walls, so it won't be like so you don't do a series of siege battles. Every time you want to capture a place you have to have a siege battle in show you too. Now it's very different. You have many different varieties of battles, and we have lots of new battle types as well. So when your army is looking, moving, and looking to capture an entire province, because there are benefits to owning the province, because you have production and building and uh, taxation and all that kind of good stuff. Um, uh, to capture the entire province, you will have uh, a range of very different battle types. So it keeps variety battle as well to have this one this is one of the good effects of the province system it's reduced micromanagement and a greater variety of battles so it's not just siege battle siege battle siege battle land battle siege battle siege, you know like Shogun 2 was so you know we have coastal battles with ships and troops in the same battlefield um, we have port assault battles which are really thrilling because you know say this is the battlefield right and the sea is here and the coast is here and there's a port city here with the docks and everything, right? You bring your fleet, you fight the enemy fleet, you break through the enemy fleet, you get to the port, you disem disembark your troops, they come up the beach, your ships are firing ballista and onager, siege weapons at the city and the troops in the city, trying to break the walls so you can then siege the city. And all this can happen in one battle now. So we have this epic, very, uh, big very, scale. yeah, big scale and, and memorable battle. You know, very memorable battles that you know you'll you'll go. Oh, I remember the time I tried to capture that town and I had this incredible battle. You know, and, is um, it possible to record the, the battles? Yeah, you can save replay of every battle. You save replay, and then at end time you can watch the replay, and it will and it gives you a free camera, so you can go everywhere and watch all the things happening with a free camera. And like, so you see your ships coming up, so you go, oh yeah, I'll put the camera here, and then you fly over the city and see what they're doing there. Um, <coughs> So yeah, it's, um, yeah, you've got replays. Um, and what replays? Replays are, are smart because they're, how, they, how, it, how a replay works is um, it records all the individual unit orders that you give to your units and the computer.
computer gives to its units, right? And then it literally fires up the battle engine and gives all those orders again, and then you watch it happen like that. Because if you record a video at 1080p of a battle that lasts 30 minutes, 35, 40 minutes, an hour, you know, whatever, that's many gigabytes of storage. Many gigabytes of storage. So, you know, that's that's our way of, of doing replays. So it records the orders and then replays them. So. <coughs> what is the um, maximum number of uh, soldiers? So, we we haven't increased the maximum amount, amount of units that you can field since. So Shogun 2 was 20 versus 20 was the biggest. Uh, and then in Fallen Samurai we moved to 40 versus 40. Now that's quite a lot of stuff to control. 40 units is a, is a big army. That takes a lot of attention for anyone, for the best player. It's like, oh, we'll have to pause and do this and this and this and all. Unpause, right, right. Oh, let's go back there and then pause, micromanage here, uh, let these guys sweep around, you know. On top, so we have 40 versus 40 here still, but of course if you're fighting a combined battle with naval units and, uh, and, and, and land battles as well, of course you can put ships on top of the 40, so 40 units plus ships, that is quite a lot of stuff. Right? Um, so there's ways in which we, we, we make that easy for the players. Yeah. Um, we have a new camera feature, if you like, called um, the tactical view. So if you hold tab, the camera goes, and you get a full top-down view, and you see your units' icons. So it renders the landscape in 3D from, from very high up. So you see the, the entire landscape, particularly you see birds flying and things like that. But it turns your units into icons. So you, have, you know that's a cavalry icon, that's a, that's a bow and arrow icon, that's a melee, that's spear, that's sword, you know. So you can see instantly, right, you can see exactly what's going on from the top of the back of it. So you can go, it's not going well over there, it's fine here, I'm going to jump back down here and focus on controlling this part of the back. So that's a, you know, it's a good way of controlling large battles. More kind, of a, kind of a dream for real commanders. Yeah, completely, completely. Yeah, if, if you were a, a, a commander in a war and you had access to that, you'd have more battles. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I have a question about replays. Would it be possible, you know, to upload the, the replays on YouTube uh, from the game itself? Or? So no, we can't do that. Um, what we uh, because because the replay file is simply it's like a list of orders, uh, and the battle engine then recreates those orders and shows you a play out. So um, so we don't have any specific way of, of immediately uploading stuff like things to YouTube, but. Um, it's certainly something we've looked at in the past, but it's kind of something we are going to continue to look at as well. So, um, you know, through the course of the game, we were wondering how we get, how we, how we make that happen. But it's a, it's a, it's a challenge because um, it's, you know, a 35, 40 minute, one hour battle, whatever it is, is you know, squirting that to YouTube. That's quite bandwidth intensive. Um, so we have to, you know, we have to think about that. Um, but of course, you can still. Do it man. Record your own battles. So. I'm hoping for uh, for shadow play video. Shadow play? Yeah. Oh, what's that? I don't. Know. I don't know. Uh, it's actually uh, it should release. I mean, uh, next month I think. Or they said uh, before the end of summer. Okay. And it's using the H264 uh, codec in GT680 series. Mm -hmm. And they say that uh, you know a full HD video of uh, some gigabytes will be instead like 100 megabytes. Okay. Using that kind of wow. So that 